Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 12th of 2020 and ever since the very end of the Skywalker Saga, a lot of fans have been very curious and skeptical on whether or not George, John, and Dave can really pull things off with this new Star Wars universe. And honestly, I do have faith in them given of what happened with The Mandalorian Season 2. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, as we have all witnessed with Season 2, Chapters 13, 14, and 15, I believe, to tell you guys the truth, the three best episodes so far out of this entire season. And I think that we're really in for a treat next Friday, you know, this upcoming Friday, the series finale, or should I say the season finale, is really going to kick things off big time for The Mandalorian Season 3, which is going to be released in December of next year. They're pushing it a little forward. You know, I guess it's not going to come out during October again, which is a bit of a letdown, but I digress. What's really intriguing all has to do with their slate of projects. Now, we only got a partial announcement just a couple of days ago at that Disney investor video slash call meeting. We got tons of new Star Wars shows, be it associated with the Dark Side or the Jedi or Obi-Wan Kenobi or Kazian Andor. I mean, the list goes on, Ahsoka Tano. Um, but that's just a handful of the projects that they are currently working on. They have another batch that they are going to announce at some point in time in 2021, more toward the very end of the year. However, what's really interesting all has to do with the character of Rey Skywalker and a very tough decision that Disney and Lucasfilm recently made. Now, given that the Skywalker saga is all over now and the sequel trilogy is a thing of the past, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe and trilogy of movies. On top of that, it's explained that currently both Bob Iger and Chapek are hard at work on developing the new universe to reunite the fans. One major change is the development of a refreshed Rey. Skywalker entering into the new Star Wars canon. It's described that major retcons recently were put in place for the character. On top of this, it's noted that Disney plans to recast the character of Rey Skywalker in the new Rise of Skywalker sequel series project, since Daisy Ridley refused to return to do voiceover work or facial scans as the character. Disney is now in the hiring process with actress Kira Knightley to fill in for Rey Skywalker to do the voiceover work and to provide facial scans as an older Rey that takes place in the later years after episode 9. The animation style is said to be very lifelike in the new series and that this major recast of Rey Skywalker is said to be a major decision by Lucasfilm. Now, given that Kira Knightley was already associated with Lucasfilm in The Phantom Menace. This was Lucasfilm's first pick for someone to step in for the character of Rey on this untitled project by George Lucas, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni. The recast was pushed by Bob Chapek after Daisy Ridley refused to come back to Star Wars after what happened with the sequel trilogy. Now, this particular project is going to explore the new Jedi Order well after the events of Episode 9, as well as Rey's children, currently dubbed as both Kira and Cade Skywalker. And it's kind of funny because they've got a daughter of Rey that's going to be called Kira. It's somewhat similar to how Kira Knightley's name is spelt, but that's just my thing. Now, the thing about all of this, all right, in my point of view, I think that when we're looking at everything related to the Star Wars universe, the fact that they switched heads over to Kira Knightley because of how she has that similar look to the character of Rey and actress Daisy Ridley. Number two, she was already in a Star Wars movie, so that kind of works. And number three, Kira Knightley has even expressed interest of coming back into the Star Wars world a couple of years ago. I don't know if you guys saw that interview. So it kind of makes sense as to why Lucasfilm would choose her first to come on board to pretty much be the decision to recast Rey Skywalker in this new Star Wars TV show that's not going to be released until 2023. So this animated series, it's going to be a different form of animation. Let's not forget, it's not going to have that cartoonish look to it like Star Wars Rebels and or the Clone Wars. It's going to have a very realistic, lifelike design. Almost like a bridge between cartoon animation and live action. Creating that bridge, if you will. That's what Lucasfilm wants to tap into 
to somewhat gravitate live action fans into the animated world. You know, not all live action watchers want to actually watch animated material. That's just a thing. You know, a certain percentage of Star Wars fans strictly like the live action stuff, and that's fine. You know, I myself like things all around. I like animation. I like the live action material, be it movies or TV shows, whatever it may be. Now, this, I think, could very well be a bit of a risky move, but at the same exact time, what else could they do, right? It is what it is type of situation. Daisy Ridley refused to come back. It is a sad thing that happened with the sequel trilogy. It is also a sad thing that we're in a spot where the main lead, the actual main actress, does not want to come back to Star Wars. Also, John, you know, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, those two, they don't want anything to do with Star Wars. Oscar is already busy with many other projects. In fact, he's getting a lot of roles. I mean, he's in the new Dune movie. He is being placed in other movies for 2022 and 2024. Oscar really has a lot of work on his hands. So, like I said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.